The Bryan Brothers or the Bryans refers to Robert Charles Bob Bryan and Michael Carl Mike Bryan, American professional doubles tennis players. The identical twins have won multiple Olympic medals, including the gold in 2012 and have won more professional games, matches, tournaments and grand slams than any other pairing. They have held the world number one doubles ranking jointly for 371 weeks, which is longer than anyone else in doubles history. They have also finished the ATP year-end number one doubles team a record nine times. Between 2005 and 2006, they set an open era record by competing in seven consecutive men's doubles Grand Slam finals. On April 11, 2013, they recorded their open era record 800th match win by defeating Joe Brunstrom and Jesse Levine in the semi-finals of Houston. Following their triumph at the 2013 Wimbledon Championships, the Bryans became the only doubles pairing in the Open era to hold all four major titles at once, as well as the only team in history to hold all four majors and Olympic gold simultaneously. They are also the only doubles team in history to have won every major title, having won all four Grand Slams, Olympic gold, all nine Masters Series titles, the year-end championships and the Davis Cup during their careers. Born on April 29, 1978, with Mike being the elder by two minutes, and Bob the taller by three a cm. The two have won a record 98 tour titles surpassing the Woodies, and have been finalists on 51 other occasions. They have a career Golden Slam and 15 Grand Slam titles overall, which is more than any team in the Open era. These include victories at the Australian Open, the French Open, Wimbledon, and the US Open. They won the Tennis Masters Cup doubles tournament three times. They won the gold medal at the 2012 Summer Olympics in London and the bronze medal at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. They won the 2007 Davis Cup, along with Andy Roddick and James Blake. The brothers were named ATP Team of the Decade for 2000 Euro 2009. The twins are part of the United States Davis Cup team with a 21 Euro 4 record in doubles matches. Their four losses were to Croatia's Ivan Dubia Ia and Mario Ana Ia in 2005, in 2008 to France's Arnaud Cla copyright Ment and Michael El Lodra, and in 2013 to Brazil's Marcelo Melo and Bruno Sors as well as Serbia's Nenad Simunja and Ilija Bozoljak. Both brothers have played Davis Cup singles matches. The brothers, who both use single-handed backhands, are noted for their attacking style of play and great hustle. They are also well known for celebrating winning points by chess bumping each other. Some of their success is attributed to their particular brand of twinship. The Bryan brothers are mirror twins. That is, they mirror each other's movements, one being right-handed and one left-handed. Their court coverage is vastly better than two righties lefties. This fact was documented in the 60 Minutes special on the Bryan brothers. Only about 1 in 300 live births result in monozygotic twins. Only 25% of monozygotic twins are mirror, or opposite feature twins. Aside from tennis, they also do charity work in aid of children in need through their foundation, the Bryan brothers. Foundation They have been coached by David McPherson since 2005. Records and achievements, the brothers have won all four majors, nine different Masters 1000 titles, the World Tour Finals, Olympic Gold, and the Davis Cup. As things stand, the Shanghai Masters is the only significant tournament to elude them. Doubles records, these records were attained in the open era of tennis. Records in bold indicate peerless achievements. Records in italics are currently active streaks. Professional awards, ITF World Champion, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, ATP World Tour Fans Favorite Team, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, Other Achievements, played in front of the largest crowd in tennis history, won a record 21 Davis Cup World Group matches for the United States, Davis Cup Commitment Award, Junior Career, 
Bob and Mike won their first doubles tournament at age six. In a ten and under event. They attended Mesa Union School for elementary and junior high school, then Rio Mesa High School in Oxnard, California. They had an outstanding junior career, winning well over a hundred junior doubles titles together. They won the 1991 USTA National Boys 14 Doubles Championships, the 1992 USTA National Boys 14 Clay Court Doubles title, the 1994 USTA National Boys 16 Clay Court Doubles title, the 1995 USTA National Boys 18 Clay Courts Doubles title, the junior doubles title at the 1995 Ajay Valley, California Tennis Tournament, and the first ever Easter Bowl Boys 18 doubles title. The brothers won the USTA National Boys 18 Clay Court Championships again in 1996, becoming the first team in 30 years to repeat as doubles champions at that event. Bob and Mike became the first repeat doubles champions in 50 years at the 1996 USTA National Boys 18 Championships in Kalamazoo, Michigan, defeating Michael Russell and Kevin Kim in the final. The Bryans then won the 1996 US Open Junior Boys doubles title, defeating Daniel Bracciolli of Italy and Jocelyn Rabichhold of Canada 5 a Euro 7, 6 a Euro 3, 6 a Euro 4 in the final. They went on to win the bronze medal at the 1999 Pan American Games at Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, where they represented the United States for the first time as professionals. Both brothers were awarded full-ride tennis scholarships to Stanford University in fall 1996, and played there through 1998, helping the team to NCAA team title both years. They won the NCAA doubles title in 1998 defeating Kelly Gullett and Robert Lindstedt of Pepperdine University in the final, becoming the first brothers to win the NCAA doubles title since Robert and Tom Falkenberg of USC in 1946. They finished the year ranked number one in the collegiate doubles rankings. Professional career, early career, the Bryans made their professional and Grand Slam debut at the 1995 US Open, where they lost in the first round to Grant Connell and Patrick Galbraith. Their first tour win came in 1998, at the ATP tournament in Atlanta, where they scored victory over Trevor Grunman and Dave Randall. They reached the quarterfinals and lost to Grant Stafford and Kevin Elliott. They made the semifinals of the ATP tournament at Washington, D.C. and won two challenger tournaments, at Aptos and Burbank. In 1999, the Twins reached their first ATP final at Orlando, falling in the finals to Jim Courier and Todd Woodbridge. They reached the semi-finals at Scottsdale, and the quarter-finals at Indian Wells and Key Biscayne. The brothers were successful on the challenger circuit, winning three tournaments, and reaching the finals in four others. The next season saw the brothers win their first match at a Grand Slam when they reached the quarter-finals of the U.S. Open. They reached three ATP semi-finals, and two other quarter-finals. On the Challenger circuit they won the title at Aptos and were losing finalists at San Antonio, Burbank and Rancho Mirage. 2001 a Euro 2002, 2001 was the first really successful season for the Bryans as they captured four titles in five finals. The first ATP doubles title came at Memphis, by defeating Alex O'Brien and Jonathan Stark in the final. They became the first brothers combination to win four titles in a season. They reached their first Grand Slam semi-final at Wimbledon and finished the year at number 7 in the ATP doubles race, with a 45 Euro 23 match record. The next season saw the Bryans win a career-high five ATP doubles titles, including their first ATP Masters Series title. They won that AMS title at Toronto, where they beat Mark Knowles and Daniel Nestor in the final. They won titles at Acapulco, Scottsdale, Newport, and Basel, and were runner-ups at Adelaide, Memphis and Washington. They advanced to the semi-finals at Wimbledon for the second straight year, and reached the semi-finals as well at the U.S. Open, both at Washington and at the Madrid Masters. They finished the season with a 54 Euro 19 match record and in third place in the doubles race. The brothers faced each other at the U.S. Open mixed doubles final, with Mike and Lisa Raymond defeating Bob and Katerina Spotnik. 2003 a Euro 2006, 
2003 was a landmark season for the Bryans. They reached their first Grand Slam final at Roland Garros, where they also won their first Grand Slam title, beating Paul Harhuis and Yevgeny Kafelnikov in the final, and did not drop a set all through the tournament. They won five titles for the second successive year. With their win at Roland Garros, the Bryans set the record for most doubles titles by a brothers team, breaking Tim and Tom Gullickson's mark of 10. They reached the finals of three other tournaments, including the U.S. Open, became the first brothers duo to finish number one in the ATP race, and closed the season by winning the title at Tennis Masters Cup, Houston. They also made their Davis Cup debut for the United States in 2003, in the World Group playoff tie in Slovak Republic, beating Carol Beck Dominique HRBATA one half in straight sets and helping the U.S. to a 3 Euro 2 victory. In 2004, they won a career best seven titles, the victories coming at Adelaide, Memphis, Acapulco, Queens Club, Los Angeles, Basel, and Tennis Masters Cup Houston. They also reached four other finals. They were part of the U.S. tennis team at the Athens Olympics in 2004, where they lost in the quarterfinals to eventual gold medalists Fernando Gonzalez and Nicola S. Massa of Chile. They finished another successful season by winning the Tennis Masters Cup for the second year running. In 2005, the Bryans reached all four Grand Slam finals, and though they lost in the first three, they won the second Grand Slam of their career at the U.S. Open in front of cheering home fans. They also won tournaments at Scottsdale, Queen's Club in Washington, and made it to the finals at Memphis, Monte Carlo TMS and Rome TMS. In 2006, the Twins won the first Grand Slam of the season, the 2006 Australian Open, where they beat Leander Pais of India and Martin Dam of the Czech Republic in the final. They completed the career slam a few months later at Wimbledon, beating Fabrice Santoro and Nenad Simunja in four sets in the final. 2007, 2007 saw the Bryans win 11 titles. They started losing in the first round of their first tournament, but entered the 2007 Australian Open and won it defeating Jonas Japaragraf RKMAN and Max Mnei in the final. Japaragraf RKMAN and Mnei had defeated the Bryans for two years running in the French Open finals. The brothers only lost one set. Their second title of the season came in Las Vegas where the outstanding team beat Jonathan Ehrlich and D. Ram. At the 2007 Miami Masters, the Twins won the Masters Series title, defeating Martin Dam and Leander Paz. Their fourth title came without a set's loss in Houston, defeating Mark Knowles and Daniel Nestor in the final. The pair won their fifth title on the 2007 ATP Tour and second Masters Series title of the year at the Monte Carlo Masters they missed Indian Wells. The team defeated Julian Benito and Nicolas Smart in the final. At the Rome Masters, however, the brothers lost to Fabrice Santoro and Nenad Simunja. It was the first Masters Series match that the Bryans lost in 2007. The Hamburg Masters saw the Bryans beat Paul Hanley and Kevin Elliott in the final for a sixth title on the 2007 ATP Tour and third Masters Series event of the year. The brothers lost to Lucas Sodlaha one half and Pavel Varzene here at the 2007 French Open and to Knowles and Nesta at Queen's Club. They lost in the Wimbledon finals to unawed Claire copyright Ment and Michael L. Lodra, but did avenge Laha one half slash Var ZNER in the quarterfinals and Santoro Zimunja in the semifinals. The seventh title of their season came in Los Angeles when the tandem defeated Scott Lipsky and David Martin in the final. In Washington, D.C., the team defeated Ehrlich Ram in the final. The brothers did not reach the finals in the 2007 Rogers Masters which is the second time that the Bryans did not reach a 2007 Masters Series final. They lost in the finals of the 2007 Cincinnati Masters to Ehrlich Ram and their next event was the 2007 US Open, which the brothers lost in the quarterfinals to Simon Asplin and Julian Knoll. Each brother lost in the second round of mixed doubles competition. The brothers' ninth title came at the 2007 Madrid Masters, beating Marius Fistenberg and Marcin Matkowski in the final. Their tenth title of the season came in Basel, where they beat James Blake and Mark Knowles. 
the brothers won their 11th title in 2007 at the 2007 Paris Masters, defeating second seeds Daniel Nesta and Nenad Simunja in the final. The Bryans earned the number one spot in the ATP doubles race and thus were entered into the 2007 Tennis Masters Cup. However, Mike had an elbow injury and could not compete. The brothers won the third rubber in the 2007 Davis Cup finals, defeating Igor Andreev and Nikolai Davidenko of Russia, the country who held the title. Andy Roddick had sealed a win over Dmitry Tsunf and James Blake defeated Mikhail Yuzny. Bob lost his first Davis Cup singles match in the fourth dead rubber, falling to Andreev. Blake defeated Tsunf in the fifth dead rubber to end the tie for a Euro 1 to earn the title for the United States. 2008, the brothers started their season on the 2008 ATP Tour by entering the 2008 Medibank International in Sydney. They survived a quarter-final match against Jonathan Ehrlich and Andy Ram and later entered the final, falling to Richard Gasket and Joe Wilfred Songer. The Bryans again made a good appearance at the 2008 Australian Open. The team breezed through their first three rounds before losing to Mesh Bupavi and Mark Knowles. Soon afterwards, the Bryans beat Austria's Julian Knoll and Jar one quarter a GEN Meltzer in the first round of the 2008 Davis Cup. Mike had to retire against Stefan Kaubk in singles, while Bob Bryan defeated Werner Eschauer in three sets for the U.S. to win the tie. The Bryans lost to Max Mnei and Jamie Murray in the 2008 Delray Beach International Tennis Championships final and to fellow Stanford alumni Scott Lipsky and David Martin in the final of the 2008 SAP Open in San Jose, California. The Bryans made it to the final of the Tennis Channel Open in Las Vegas, producing wins over Xavier Melis and Hugo Armando, Chris Guxian and Lytton Hewitt, and Marcos Badatis and Konstantinos Economidis, but went down in the final to Julian Benito and Michael L. Lodra. The brothers lost in the quarter-finals of the 2008 Indian Wells Masters to Mnei and Murray once more. The Bryans captured their first title of the season at the 2008 Miami Masters, beating Bupathi and Knowles. After this, they lost in their Davis Cup match to unawed Clare copyright Ment and Lodra. They lost to Jeff Kuezi and Wesley Moody at the 2008 Monte Carlo Masters, however, they then claimed a second title on the 2008 ATP Tour in Barcelona at the 2008 Torneo Goda Cubed, beating Marius Fistenberg and Marcin Matkowski to win the final. At the Rome Masters, they beat Daniel Nesta and Nenad Simonja to claim the title. This made the Indian Wells Masters as the only ATP Masters series to have escaped them. The brothers moved on to the 2008 Hamburg Masters, where they only lost one set before reaching the final. However, Nesta and Zamunja claimed the title. Then, two weeks later, the brothers entered the 2008 French Open. Their second Grand Slam of the year looked to be a strong one, however they fell to Pablo Cuevas and Louis Horner in the quarterfinals. Again, they lost at the 2008 Queen's Club Championships to Marcelo Melo and Andra Copyright Tsar, whom they had beaten in Hamburg. Another Grand Slam setback occurred for them at the 2008 Wimbledon Championships, when the Twins lost in the semi-finals in a tight match against Jonas Bjeparagraf RKMAN and Kevin Elliott. He played opposite each other at the Wimbledon Mixed Doubles Final. Bob and Samantha Stosa defeated Mike and Katerina Spotnik. The brothers played their way into tournaments, as they reached the final of the 2008 Canada Masters, where they lost to Nesta and Zamunja. Their losses ended at the 2008 Cincinnati Masters, when they came from behind to beat Bupavi and Knowles. They won the title with a comeback against Israel's Ehrlich and Ram, earning themselves two successive wins coming back from the loss of the first set. The brothers combined together at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. After losing to singles specialists Roger Federer and Stanislas Arinka, they beat Clack Copyright Ment and Lodra 3 a Euro 6, 6 a Euro 3. 6 a Euro 4 to win the bronze medal. The brothers did not appear again until the 2008 US Open, where they won the title. They then lost in the quarter-finals of the 2008 Madrid Masters to Bjeparagraf RKMAN and Elliott. At the 2008 Tennis Masters Cup in Shanghai, they reached the final, 
only to be defeated by Nesta and Zemunja and so to lose their positions as world number one second for the first time in three years. 2009, in January, the brothers entered the Medibank International, in Sydney, Australia, defeating Simone Bolelli and Andrea Seppi, and in the quarter-final, Tommy Robredo and Feliciano La cubed Pezen straight sets. They survived a semi-final match against Maresh Bupathi and Mark Knowles. They avenged their Tennis Masters Cup doubles final loss with a win over Daniel Nesta and Nenad Simunja to win their first Medibank International doubles title in 10 years. At the season's first Grand Slam, in Melbourne, the Australian Open, the brothers won the men's doubles final, on Saturday, January 31, defeating India's Mahesh Bhupathi and Mark Knowles from the Bahamas in three sets. The outcome was historical in that it was the first time in tennis history that siblings had won both categories of doubles titles a Euro men's and women's a Euro at a major, as Venus and Serena Williams had won the women's doubles title at the Australian Open the previous night. At the Delray Beach International Tennis Championships, they defeated second seeds Marcelo Melo and Andra Copyright Tsar for their third title of the year and to win the tournament for the first time ever. The broke the U.S. record for most wins in Davis Cup doubles as a pair with 15 wins when they beat the Swiss team of Stanislas Arinka and Eva Legro in the 2009 Davis Cup first round. Mike Bryan got one more win in Davis Cup doubles with Mardi Fish when his brother Bob was out of play due to injury in the 2008 semifinals. At the U.S. Men's Clay Court Championships in Houston, they beat fellow Americans Jesse Levine and Ryan Sweeting to win their fourth title of the year. At the Barcelona Open Banco Sabadell and in Tunisia in Bienal d'Italia, they failed to defend their titles as they lost to Bupavi and Knowles and Nesta and Zimonjek in the semi-finals and final respectively. They exited the French Open in the semi-finals to South African-Belgian pair Wesley Moody and Dick Norman after losing three match points. They were seeded first at Wimbledon, where they reached the final without dropping a set. However, they lost the final against arch-rivals Nesta and Zimonjic in four sets. They started their U.S. Open series and North American hard-court season by winning the L.A. Tennis Open over Benjamin Becker and Frank Moser of Germany. They were the defending champions at the 2009 U.S. Open and lost in the quarter-finals to Luka Sodlaha one-half and Leander Pais in a rematch of the 2008 final despite saving five match points. The brothers won their next ATP World Tour 500 title in Beijing. The next week, they competed at the 8 Masters 1000 Tournament of the Year, the Shanghai Masters, but lost in the quarter-finals. They then competed in Basel as a warm-up tournament before Paris and London. They reached the final but lost to Daniel Nesta and Nenad Simunja. At Paris, they lost at the quarter-finals. However, they captured the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals to end the year as the world number one doubles team for the fifth time and capture the year-end championships for the third time. The year 2009 was the first year since 2004 where the brothers did not win any ATP World Tour Masters 1000 tournaments. 2010, the brothers began 2010 playing at the 2010 Heineken Open in Auckland. However, the pair lost in the first round. They then went on successfully defending their title at the 2010 Australian Open, beating Daniel Nesta and Nenad Zimunja in the final, thus claiming their fourth Australian Open title and eighth major title. They also defended their titles at the 2010 Delray Beach International Tennis Championships and the U.S. Men's Clay Court Championships in Houston. The brothers participated in the first round of Davis Cup, where they were drawn to face Serbia in Belgrade on clay courts. Mike had to withdraw due to food poisoning and was replaced by John Isner. Bob and Isner won the doubles rubber in five sets against Janko Tipsarivia and Zimunja. However, the U.S. lost the tie three a Euro two. The brothers then won two back-to-back -back Masters Series titles during the European Clay Tour at the 2010 Intonesia Nili Biennale d'Italia in Rome and the 2010 Mutua Madrilia plus or minus a Madrid Open. They defeated compatriots Isner and Sam Curé in Rome, and co-world No. 1s Nesta and Zimunja in Madrid. This ended their ATP World Tour Masters 1000 title drought since August 2008. They tied called the Woodies' record of 61 doubles titles. 
seeded first at the 2010 French Open. The Bryans suffered their earliest exit at a Grand Slam since the 2001 US Open by losing to Marcelo Melo and Bruno Soares in the second round. They did not compete in any of the warm-up tournaments before Wimbledon. At Wimbledon, however, defending champions Nesta and Zemunja made an early exit, creating the possibility for the brothers to regain the number one doubles teaming, however, they lost to Wesley Moody and Dick Norman in the quarterfinals. To start their 2010 North American summer hard Kurt swing, the brothers won their 62nd career doubles title at their hometown tournament in Los Angeles, where they were the defending champions. They reached the final and became the first team in the Open era to reach 100 doubles finals. The win surpassed the Woodies record of 61 wins as a team. Their next target is the all-time record of 79 set by Pam Shriver and Martina Navratilova. They next participated in the 2010 Leg Mason Tennis Classic in Washington, D.C., where they lost in the quarterfinals to Rowan Bopanna and Azam Ulhak Qureshi. The brothers continued their ATP World Tour Masters 1000 winning streak by capturing their 63rd title at the 2010 Rogers Cup in Toronto, adding to their titles in 2002 and 2006 and their 64th title at the 2010 Western and Southern Financial Group Masters in Cincinnati adding to their titles in 2003 and 2008. This ensured their return to the number one spot in the team rankings. This marked their wins in four consecutive Masters 1000 tournaments. Their winning streak continued as they won the 2010 US Open, giving the brothers a ninth major title, just too shy from the Woodies, by beating Bopanna and Kurishi in the final. On September 6, 2010, they were ranked number one in doubles based on the ATP ranking system for 205 weeks, surpassing Todd Woodbridge's previous record of 204 weeks. Playing in the 2010 China Open in Beijing to start their Asian hardcourt swing, their first tournament after their Flushing Meadows victory, they extended their winning streak to 18 a Euro Zero with a victory in the final over Marius Fistenberg and Marcin Matkowski. It was noted that they won their 10th title of the season on October 10, 2010. After their successful title defense, their next tournament was the 2010 Shanghai Rolex Masters where their winning streak ended at 20 after losing to Jar one quarter or G.N. Meltzer and Leander Pies in the semi-finals. The Bryans then participated at the 2010 Davidoff Swiss Indoors where they clinched a year-end number one ranking by reaching the semi-finals. They ended up winning their 11th title of the year in their 11th final by beating defending champions Nesta and Zimonjek in the final. They capped up their season by losing to Mark Knowles and Andy Ram in the semi-finals of the 2010 BNP Paribas Masters in Paris, and to Nesta and Zimonjek in the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals. 2011 the brothers began 2011 at the 2011 Midibank International Sydney where they reached the final. The pair lost to first-time pairing of Lucas Odlaha one-half and Paul Hanley, marking their first final loss since March 2008 to a team other than Nesta Zimonjic. They next travelled to Melbourne and successfully defended their 2011 Australian Open title, beating Indian duo Resh Bhupathi and Leander Pais in the final. This was the Bryans' third straight title at the Australian Open, and their tenth Grand Slam title. They suffered early exits in Acapulco. Indian Wells and Miami but bounced back to win their 69th title in Houston. They followed this victory with their 70th title in Monte Carlo the week after. This was their 18th Masters 1000 title, tying them with Todd Woodbridge and six shy of all-time Masters 1000 leader Daniel Nesta. Their next tournament was the 2011 Barcelona Open Banco Sabadell where they ended as runner-ups to first-time pairing of Santiago Gonzalez and Scott Lipsky after missing four match points in a closely fought final. They continued their clay court dominance by winning their fourth Madrid Masters title beating Michael Lodra and Nenad Zemunja in the final. It was the Bryans' 19th Masters title. Their next tournament was the Rome Masters, where they lost in the quarter-finals to compatriots Mardi Fish and Andy Rod Dick. They lost in the 2011 French Open semi-finals to first-time pairing of Juan Sebastián Cabal and Eduardo Schwank. They bounced back, clinching their fourth Queen's Club title, beating fellow Australian Open finalists Bupavi Pais in the final in a tough three-setter. 
They followed this up winning Wimbledon on July 2, defeating Robert Lindstedt and Horia Tekka Florin New in straight sets. This was their second Wimbledon title and tied the Woodies record of 11 Grand Slam titles. The brothers failed to defend their title at the Rogers Cup although they reached the final and lost to Lodra and Zimonjek in three sets. Their next stop was at the Cincinnati where they again failed to defend their title by falling to Bupavi Pais in the semi-finals. Their late season struggles continued at the US Open, losing in the first round. This was their first first round exit since the 2001 Australian Open. At the 2011 China Open in Beijing they were, again, unable to defend their title as they were beaten in the semi-finals by Lodra and Zimonjek in three sets. They lost the 2011 Shanghai Rolex Masters quarterfinals to Marius Fistenberg and Marcin Matkowski. The brothers played their next tournament at the Erste Bank Open in Vienna where they regained some form by saving a match point in a tight first round before going on to reach the final where they defeated Max Mnei and Daniel Nestor in straight sets to claim their first Vienna title and their seventh title of the year. They then competed in the Valencia Open 500 event in the very next week and rode their momentum without dropping a set into their first final there against Eric Butorek and Jean Julian Roger. They went on to win the final in straight sets to earn their first Valencia title and eighth title of the season. However, they were unable to make it three titles in three weeks at the 2011 BNP Paribas Masters as they were upset in the second round by Julian Beneteau and Nicolas Mowat. The brothers looked to finish their season at the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals but lost in the semi-finals to Mnei and Nesta. 2012 The brothers began 2012 by participating at the 2012 AP International Sydney where they reached the final. They went on to win the final by defeating wildcards Matthew Bden and Jarko Neiman to claim their second title in Sydney in their 76th overall without dropping a set. The brothers then aimed to win their sixth Australian Open and reached their eighth final at the event after three consecutive three-setters which included saving a match point and overcoming a 2 Euro 5 deficit in the final set tiebreak in an epic semi-final against Robert Lindstedt and Horia Tekka Flora New. However, the brothers played Leander Pies and Raid Kangstrom Taper Neck in the final and were upset in straight sets. They were forced to withdraw from Indian Wells at the quarter-final stage with illness and were beaten in Miami at the semi-final stage by Pies and Angstrom Taper Neck for the second time in 2012. They skipped Houston despite being the defending champions and instead secured a doubles rubber point in the USA France Davis Cup tie at Monte Carlo by defeating Julian Beneteau and Michael L. Lodra. They then went on to win their 20th Masters 1000 title and 77th title overall at Monte Carlo without dropping a set. They had thrashed Pies and Angstrom Taper Neck in the quarter-finals and comfortably beaten Max Mnei and Daniel Nestor in the final. However, their momentum was halted at the 2012 Barcelona Open Banco Sabadell but withdrew due to illness. They took to the new blue clay of the Madrid Masters as the defending champions but lost early. Their next tournament was the Rome Masters, where they lost in the quarterfinals. Keen to regain some momentum, the brothers played the 2012 Open de Nice Cartier Dizera Euro doubles tournament which they won for the first time by beating Oliver Marek and Philip Polasowek in the final. It was their 78th title and third of the year. They then enjoyed a good run at the 2012 French Open before losing in the final to Mnei and Nesta. They immediately found form on the grass reaching the final at the Queen's Club but failed to defend their title and were again defeated by Mnei and Nesta. The brothers reached the semi-finals of Wimbledon but, after a tight match, were defeated by eventual first-time wildcard titlists Jonathan Murray and Frederick Nielsen. After winning the Olympic gold medal at the Summer Olympics in London, the brothers played the 2012 Rogers Cup in Toronto. They maintained their fine form by winning their 21st Masters 1000 title and their 80th title overall after saving a match point in a closely fought final against Spaniards Marcel Grinolas and Marc Lacoubre Pez. The brothers went on to the 2012 Western and Southern Open in Cincinnati, where they lost in the semi finals to Lindstedt and Tekka Flora New. They went on to win the 2012 US Open over Pies and Angstrom Taper Neck. This was the brothers' 12th major title, which meant they had surpassed the Woodies' record of 11, 
giving the brothers the most major titles in men's doubles in the Open era. In November, Bob Bryan, who had missed a Davis Cup match due to the birth of his daughter, during which Mike had played with Marty Fish, slipped behind Mike in the world rankings. This was the first time since August 2003 that the pair had had different rankings. This meant Mike Bryan finished 2012 as world number one on his own. 2012 Olympics, they returned to Wimbledon for the Summer Olympics tennis tournament. They beat Belucky Zar of Brazil in the first round, David Nko Yuzny of Russia in the second round, Ehrlich Ram of Israel in the quarterfinals, and Benito Gasket of France in the semi-finals. They entered the gold medal match assured of at least a silver medal, but they topped Lodred Songa of France to win the Olympic gold medal on August 4, 2012. This completed the career Golden Slam in men's doubles for the brothers having won the Australian Open, French Open, Wimbledon, US Open and the Olympic gold medal. 2013 The brothers started 2013 by participating at the 2013 Apia International Sydney which they won by defeating Max Mnei and Hori Teka Florin New in the final to claim their third title in Sydney in their 83rd overall. The Bryans then aimed to win their sixth Australian Open. They did just that by emerging victorious in their ninth final at the event by beating the Dutch team of Robin Haas and Iga Sigeling. This gave the brothers an all-time record 13 Grand Slam titles. They surpassed the pre-open era record of 12 titles held by John Newcomb and Tony Roche. The brothers participated in the first round of the Davis Cup, where they were drawn to face Brazil in Jacksonville on indoor hard courts. For only the third time in their career, the Bryans lost a Davis Cup doubles match when they lost in five sets to Marcelo Melo and Bruno Soares. It was their first loss of the season. However, the U.S. would go on to win the tie three a Euro two when Sam Curé won the deciding rubber. They then played at the 2013 SAP Open in San Jose, California. It was the final edition of the tournament and therefore, the Bryans' last chance to win this tournament which had so far eluded them. However, they lost in the quarter-finals to the Australian pairing of Lytton Hewitt and Marinko Matrosevic. They bounced back immediately at the 2013 region's Morgan Keegan Championships in Memphis. They won their third title of the season without dropping a set winning an All-American final against James Blake and Jack Sock. Following this win, Bob rejoined Mike as world number one. Their next tournament was the first Masters 1000 of the year at Indian Wells. This was the only Masters 1000 tournament that the Bryans had yet to win. The brothers rode their momentum and won the tournament after prevailing in super tiebreakers in the quarter-final, the semi-final, and in the final against first-time pairing Treat Hui and Jersey Janowicz. This was their 22nd Masters 1000 title, their fourth title of the year, and their 86th title as a team. Their next tournament was the 2013 Sony Ericsson Open in Miami, Florida where they lost in the first round to Max Mnei and Mikhail Yuzny. The brothers then played in Boise, Idaho in the Davis Cup quarterfinals against Serbia on indoor hard courts. However, the twins lost in five sets to Nenad Simonja and Ilija Bozoljak. It was the first time in their career that they had lost back-to-back -back Davis Cup doubles rubbers and it was their fourth loss overall in the competition. This defeat put the US 2-1 behind in rubbers. They were unable to recover and lost the tie 3 a Euro 1 when Novak Djokovic beat Sam Curé in the first reverse singles match. Their next tournament was Houston where they were defending champions and on a 16-match winning streak. However, their streak came to an end in the final where, despite having a match point, they were defeated by Jamie Murray and John Pierce. Their next event was Monte Carlo where again, they were the defending champions. However, once again, they lost in the final after squandering seven match points against Julian Benito and then Adesimunja. Their next event was the Madrid Masters which had reverted to red clay. The brothers reached the final against Alexander Peer and Bruno Soares. There were no missed match points this time as the Bryans closed out a comfortable win to earn their 23rd Masters 1000 title and fifth title of the year. They continued their fine run at the Rome Masters defeating Indians Maresh Bhupathi and Rowan Bopanna in the final. It was their 88th team title, their 6th title in 2013, and their 24th Masters 1000 title. 
the brothers' clay court form culminated in a 14th Grand Slam title at the 2013 French Open. They defeated the all-French pairing of Michael Lodra and Nicolas Marat in a third-set tiebreak to claim their second French Open title and seventh title of the year. It was their 89th team title and third consecutive Grand Slam title. The brothers had the opportunity at Wimbledon to capture a Golden Bryan Slam and would have become only the second doubles team in history to hold all four majors at the same time, as well as the only team ever to hold all four majors and Olympic gold simultaneously. On June 10, it was announced that the twins had qualified for the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals for the twelfth time. The brothers got their grass court campaign underway at the Queen's Club. They won their fifth Queen's Club title by defeating Payer and Soares in the final. It was their eighth title of the season and 90th title overall. They were on an 18-match winning streak going into Wimbledon. On July 6, the brothers achieved a historic Golden Slam as they won their 15th Grand Slam title and third Wimbledon. The twins became the first team to hold all four major titles and the Olympic gold medal at the same time as they defeated Ivan Dodig and Marcelo Melo in the final. The brothers withdrew from the 2013 BB&T Atlanta Open and the 2013 City Open in Washington citing an injury to Bob's shoulder. Their next event was the 2013 Rogers Cup in Montreal where they were the defending champions. However, their 25-match winning streak came to an end in the quarterfinals, losing to Robert Lindstedt and Daniel Nestor. At the 2013 Western and Southern Open in Cincinnati they saved a match point in the semi-finals before defeating Spaniards Marcel Grinolas and Marc Larcubed Pez in the final. It was the brothers' 10th title of 2013 and 25th Masters 1000 title. With this victory, the Twins were guaranteed the year-end number one team ranking for a record ninth time on August 19. However, at the 2013 U.S. Open, the Bryans were defeated in the semi-finals by Leander Pies and Raid Kangstrom Tapernek in a rematch of last year's final. This loss prevented them from achieving the calendar Grand Slam. Their next event was the Japan Open. It was the Twins' first time competing in this tournament but things did not go as planned as they were defeated in their opening match by Nicola S. Almagro and Pablo Cuevas. Their next tournament was the 2013 Shanghai Rolex Masters where they were beaten in the semi-finals by Dodig and Melo. The brothers played the Valencia Open where they were defeated in the final by Pea and Soares despite having four match points. The brothers beat Pea and Soares in the final of the 2013 BNP Paribas Masters for their 26th Masters 1000 title. Their final event was the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals where they saved a match point en route to the final before being defeated by Spaniards David Marrero and Fernando Verdesco. This loss brought to a close the greatest season of the brothers' career where they reached 15 finals, won 11 titles, and finished world number one for the ninth time. 2014, the Bryan brothers began 2014 attempting to defend their title at the 2014 Napier International Sydney. However, they were upset in the quarter-finals by Lucas Sorosol and Joe Poundo Souza. The brothers aimed to defend their Australian Open crown but were shocked in the third round by eventual finalists, Eric Butorek and Raven Klaassen. The twins participated in the first round of the Davis Cup, where they were drawn to face Great Britain and San Diego on outdoor clay. They secured a point for the United States by winning the doubles rubber against Colin Fleming and Dominic Inglot. For Mike, it was the 35-year-old's 23rd doubles victory in the competition, the most by an American. The brothers reached the final of the 2014 U.S. National Indoor Tennis Championships in Memphis, Tennessee but were unable to defend their title, losing again by Butorek and Carson. They bounced back at the 2014 Delray Beach International Tennis Championships which they won without dropping a set to claim their first title of the season. Their next tournament was the first Masters 1000 of the year at Indian Wells where the brothers successfully defended their title by defeating Alexander Payer and Bruno Soares in the final. The twins immediately followed this up by winning Miami. They defeated Juan Sebastián Encabal and Robert Ferrer in the final to claim their first Indian Wells Miami double, their 28th Masters 1000 crown, and 96th title overall. 
the brothers got their clay court campaign off to a flying start by claiming their fifth Houston title defeating Spaniards David Marrero and Fernando Verdesco in a closely fought final. At Monte Carlo, the brothers won their 29th Masters 1000 crown and fourth consecutive Masters 1000 tournament by beating Ivan Dodig and Marcelo Melo in the final. This title marked their 98th title as a team and Mike's 100th doubles title. The twins have now won five tournaments in a row and are in a 21-match winning streak. However, this streak came to an end in the final of the Madrid Masters where they were defeated by Daniel Nesta and Nenad Simunja. The twins' next event was the Rome Masters, where they were beaten again by Nesta and Zemunja in the semi-finals. The brothers tried to defend their title at the 2014 French Open but were defeated in the quarter-finals by Marcel Grinolas and Marc Larcubed Pez. The brothers began their grass court campaign attempting to defend their title at Queen's. However, they were defeated in the second round by Jamie Murray and John Pierce. At Wimbledon, the Bryan brothers reached a final, where they were beaten in five sets by the doubles team of Vesic Pospisil of Canada and Jack Sark of the United States. Parents, their mother Kathy Bryan is a former women's circuit player. She is a four-time participant at Wimbledon, and made the mixed doubles quarter-finals in 1965. She still teaches tennis. Their father, Wayne, is a lawyer, musician, and tennis instructor. Both their parents are involved in various ATP Kids Days and clinics on tour. Personal life, the brothers are identical twins born on April 29, 1978, with Mike the Elder by two minutes. In their early days as junior players, they were forbidden to play each other in tournament play by their parents. If they were to play each other in a tournament, they would alternate defaulting to each other. They graduated from Rio Mesa High School in Oxnard, California in 1996 and attended Stanford University. In 1998, Bob became the first player since Alex O'Brien in 1992 to win college's Triple Crown of NCAA singles, doubles and team titles. Both Bob and Mike are members of Sigma Alpha Epsilon. They have a penchant for music, forming a band of their own, with Mike playing on the drums, Bob on the keyboard, and Father Wayne on the guitar. The band has played at several special events, including the ATP Tour Smash Tennis event at New York Central Park before the 1995 U.S. Open. The Bryan Brothers were featured on the Jan February 2010 cover of Making Music magazine. Marriages, Bob married Florida attorney and longtime family friend Michelle Alvarez in December 2010. The couple resides in Sunny Isles Beach, Florida. Mike married Lucille Williams on November 25, 2012 at the Four Seasons, Montecito, California. Career Finals, Doubles, 149, Note, Mike Bryan has won two more doubles titles than his brother Bob. He won both of them in 2002, one was alongside Maresh Bupathi in Long Island, US and one beside Mark Knowles in Nottingham, UK. Team Competitor, 2, Performance Timeline doubles, to prevent confusion and double counting, information in this table is updated only after a tournament or the player's participation in the tournament is concluded. This table includes events up to and including Wimbledon. Notes. References. External links, Bob Bryan at the Association of Tennis Professionals, Mike Bryan at the Association of Tennis Professionals, Bob's biography on Davis Cup website, Mike's Biography on Davis Cup Website, Official Websites, Brianbros.com, Brianbrosband.com. Bobandmike.com A Eurofan site officially endorsed by Bob and Mike, Bob Bryan on Twitter, Mike Bryan on Twitter, on the USTA website, Bob Bryan Profile at www.princetennis.com, Mike Bryan Profile at www.princetennis.com. Profile on the 60 Minutes News Magazine broadcast March 21, 2010.